Hello guys, welcome to DTW GED Prep. Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be taking these four questions, and these are questions on the signed numbers and pan uh, and pandas. Okay, and um, you can see this. You can just see few of those questions here and there. Maybe like two from here. Okay, for the sign numbers and two from your pandas in your GED math test. So it's it's good you actually know it so you don't miss that particular point. Okay, it's critical. Okay, for the simple parts of math that you don't miss those points. Okay, and I'm going to take you through all these four questions together. Okay, you can see this that similar questions like this you'll see in your test. Okay, and uh, please, if it's your first time on this channel, please, please try to please subscribe to our channel to support us to grow. And you can also join in our Facebook group I will leave the link to the of the group in the video description box of this video and also if you want some one-on-one -on -one maths tutoring I also offer that you can send me a mail I will also leave my mail in the um, description box of this video and also if you want to contact me through our Facebook group you can also chat me up if you, when you're added on the group you can you know send me a private message and we'll take it out from there okay so you don't need to bother I know you must have left school some of you must have left school quite a quite a long time ago but I will take you by the end, be patient with you, which is very key, and um, take you up from the beginning till and get you ready for your test by God's grace. Okay, I've, I've done that for several students and they have passed their tests. One recently, just two weeks of math tutoring and she passed her test. Okay, so I do one-on-one -on -one math tutoring. All right, so let's get on to these questions now. So here it says evaluate this negative 3 plus negative 10 in parentheses negative 5 negative 14 okay this is very key you need to i will leave a link to a video i've, I've done explaining your sign rules okay that's sign number rules how to add how to um subtract multiply and divide okay it's very key you know those rules all right okay so i'm going to apply them here all right so here first of all let's solve what's in the parentheses so we have here a negative 3 plus a negative 10 in parentheses a negative 5 negative 14 so a negative 5 negative 14 what we do we're going to add the number and as uh, uh we're going to add these two numbers and our sign will be negative so we have here okay so this will give us negative 3 plus a negative 10 in two brackets a negative what 19 okay we add 5 plus 14 which is 19 and leave the sign negative okay the biggest number here has a negative sign so we leave it negative all right so the next thing let us multiply what's in this parenthesis okay so we multiply this parenthesis with the negative 10 just 10 alone that's where uh, most students do um, uh, make a mistake they just do 10 times this no with the negative 10, you multiply this negative 19. So a negative 10 multiplied by a negative 19 will give us what? A positive 190. So we are left here with a negative 3, then plus, okay? So here, when you have a plus plus, is a plus, okay? There's this rule I always teach students. A plus times a plus is equal to a plus, okay? Negative times a plus, a positive is equal to a negative, a negative times a positive is equal to a negative, and a negative times a negative is equal to a positive. You will see all that in that video, okay? I don't want to take too much time on this video. So a plus and a plus is a plus. So we have a negative 3 is what plus 190. And when you have a negative 3 plus 190, what do we do? The operation we perform is subtraction, okay? We subtract okay when we subtract 3 from uh, 190 we're going to have 187 so to determine which sign 187 is going to take you look for the sign of the bigger number what's the sign of the bigger number which here which is 190 is what positive so our answer will be a positive 187 so this is what the answer will be a positive 187 so you can just write 187 okay so these are questions where it just you know fill in the blank in your math test. There's no option, okay? This can be part of your first five um, questions without calculator, okay? Now the next one. Let me clear the screen here. So the next one says find the value of the following expression. So we have this minus five raised to the power of two minus in parentheses minus four raised to the power of three. So let us express this. So this is negative five times negative five. That's what it means. Minus 5 raised to the power of 2, exponent 2, sorry. Then here we have negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. 
as negative 4 exponent 3. Okay, so negative 5 times negative 5. Remember, a negative times negative is what a positive. So we have a positive what 25. Okay, now here this is a negative 4 times a negative 4. That will give us a positive what 16. Okay, then this positive 16 times a negative 4 will give us what a negative what 64. So we have this. Okay, so we have this. So this minus is outside the gate here. So we have to open the bracket. We can easily open up this bracket since there's nothing in front of 25 here. So we have 25. Now to open up this bracket, this negative would affect this every this sign in this parenthesis. So in negative times this negative here, we're going to have a positive of 64. So we have 25 plus what 64. And what is 25 plus 64? We have 25. 64 that would give us a 9 and 8 so the answer here is what 89 so this is our answer our right option here is option d okay let's go to the next one clear my screen now this says evaluate the following expression this is under pandas okay where your p is for parentheses e for exponent m for multiplication d division a addition s subtraction so let us resolve what is in our parentheses first, then before we multiply, okay? So this first parenthesis here, it says 5 minus 3, which would be what, 2, okay? Times, now we have a 4 plus, uh, uh, 4, plus 4, then divided by 2. So which operation do we do first? Okay, this is addition. No, we can't do addition. Uh, division comes before addition. So we do the division of 4 and 2. So 4 divided by 2 is what, 2? So we do this first, okay, which is 2. So we have here left 4 plus the 2. That's 4 divided by 2 is 2, okay? So what is 4 plus 2 here? That's 6. So we're left here 2. So we have 2 times 6. And what is 2 times 6? That would give us what? 12. So our answer here is 12. Our right option here is option D. Okay, let's go to the final one. I think we can leave this. We can solve the final one here. We don't need to clear the screen. So here we have... Uh, 4 plus 3 times 2. We're also going to do use pandas here. So, uh, in the in the numerator, we have a 4 plus 3 times 2. We can't do addition before before uh, our multiplication here. So we have to do multiplication first. So 3 times 2 is what 6. So we have a 4 here. So we have a 4 plus 6. Okay, let's leave this then divided by. Here we have a 7 minus 14 divided by 7. We have to do a division first before subtraction. So we say 4, 14 divided by 7, that would give us a 2. So we're left here with 7 minus 2. So what is 4 plus 6? That give us 10. And what is 7 minus 2? That would give us what 5. So we have a 10 over 5. 5 can go in 10 how many times? 2 times. Okay, can cancel as what 2. So our answer is what 2. So here our right option is option A. Okay, if you make the mistake of doing your addition first before multiplication, okay, you're going to you're going to get the answer wrong and the answer will be in the option. That's the funny thing about it. If you miss a step, you see the answer in in your option. Okay, so just make sure you follow the rule pandas. Okay, please do follow this rule. All right. And it's going to help you get the right answer correct okay and it's going to help you get the correct answer okay so thank you all right i want this video to be quite short these are few questions that you should not miss okay please do not miss this question it's easy to miss them by just a little mistake but uh if you get them it's also going to add to your score to make you pass your ged test all right so thank you for staying tuned to dtw ged prep you can also check out our, our website www.dtwgedprep.com for other materials on other uh, um, subjects for your science and your social studies, okay? So, and also I would leave you with this uh, for you to remember that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ, for he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. He is the one who is going to lead you to heaven at last and also give you a good life here on earth, a life without fear, a life in peace, a life in love and joy, in his name okay so thank you for staying tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video to you, um, your groups whatsapp group or um to your classes uh students in your classes all right to help them pass their ged test all right and the link of the group is also in the video description box for further resources 
uh, GED math resources. Okay, so thank you, thank you so much. You are destined to win in your forthcoming GED math test and also in life. Thank you and see you in our next video.